Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest episode of Sales Unboxing. If you'd like to know what great stuff I'll be unboxing next, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Since 1979, when the first episode of Mobile Suit Gundam was aired in Japan, it has gained huge popularity, first in Asia, then slowly moving to other parts of the world. We all know that Gundam is not limited to just animation or comic books or novels. They also have a whole line of plastic model kits or Gunpla in short, toys, video games, merchandise, peripherals, so many they will basically cover almost every part of our life. After the original Mobile Suit Gundam being released, they also have many others in the lineup like Z Gundam, Double Z Gundam, Shars Counter Attack, and in the more recent ones like Unicorn Gundam, Gundam Hathaway, etc etc. However, the most popular one in North America by far is the Mobile Suit Gundam Wing series. And this is what we are going to unbox this week. Premium Bandai exclusive Gundam Fix Figuration Metal Composite Wing Gundam EW Early Color Version. Whew, it really is a mouthful. A couple episodes ago, we unboxed the Metal Build Justice Gundam. So what's Gundam Fix Figuration Metal Composite or GFFMC series then? Both Metal Build and GFFMC are very similar in height and materials used, which means Bandai Namco used a hybrid of metal and plastic to create a mobile suit toy that is heavy and sturdy, mostly in joints, which recreate the illustrations of the designers. One thing that sets GFFMC apart from Metal Build is that GFFMC is led by none other than Hajime Kadoki. Kadoki-san is the well-known Japanese mech designer responsible for so many franchises, including many of the mobile suits, Virtual On series, Pet Labor series, Super Robot War video game series. He's such a highly acclaimed designer that Bandai Namco purposely gives him car series product lines, immaster grade plastic models, robot spirit toys, and now GFFMC. Price-wise, GFFMC series is definitely catching up with that of Metal Build series, and with inflation and other factors, expect toys to be even more expensive in the near future. So let's unbox this beauty and discuss further. Since this is a premium Bandai exclusive product, we see this very familiar brown shipping carton box. With the name of the product on one corner. This carton box is just as valuable as the product inside. Or not. At least it's a good protection when you stack the boxes up. So just give you a minute. Here you go. As you can see, the Wing Gundam and all its armaments are inside the styrofoam boxes. Let me just open this one as well. And we have the main mobile suit in here. Mm -hmm. 
which is pretty heavy because it has metal parts inside. For the colors, they are in matte colors for the main red, blue, yellow, and white parts, and some metallic colors for extra finishing. Now let's check the armaments. Same thing, they use both matte and metallic finishing. And we have the display stand with the mobile suit name printed on it. And some additional parts uh, and stands for posing. And instruction manual of course. One signature for any Max toys and models designed by Kotaku Design is the heavy utilization of stickers around the robots and weaponry. You can see the mobile suit itself, weapons, and even the unique wing structure are all covered with numerous warning stickers here and there. Some people find it a little bit too overwhelming, but personally, I like this kind of stickers a lot. That's why when I'm building my Gunpla, I always follow what the instruction manual said for the stickers and sometimes go beyond that. I know some of you may be asking, didn't Bandai Namco release GFF MC Wing Gundam not too long ago? Boring. If you're referring strictly to GFF MC, this is actually just their third Wing Gundam in their lineup with Wing Gundam Zero EW version and Wing Gundam Snow White Prelude before this one. And although premium and but all, they are all premium banda nonetheless. Wing Gundam has one of the most complicated stories in Gundam universe. Here's the TV animations and then the OVA or original animation video as well as the light novels. That's why there are so many variations and thus business opportunities for the original 5 mobile suits in Wing Gundam series. So don't be surprised if you have a headache to follow which mobile suit belongs to which series in Wing Gundam because you should be. So that's it for this episode of Sales Unboxing. Don't forget to like and comment on this video and you can share your collection of GFF MC, Metal Build or Metal Robot Spirit in comment section below. Have fun!